Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, this doing is Chilo. Chilo, and he's over in the neighborhood. He's checking. What what did you come by for? What we're running into over here are Thatcher ants. Look so, at these. Yeah. They've got black bodies with red heads. They're mm. really, really gnarly. They're, they're wood destroying organisms. So basically what they do is they'll work their way towards the house and get inside the walls. Look and, at those suckers. And they're yeah. thick as thieves out here. They're yep. running back and forth. They're going all along somewhere. that line. Yeah, all along this fence line. I'm going to show you that, guys. That's crazy. And Chilo came by, and I've been wondering about this. And he's, so Chilo, what uh, what do we do? What's, what's what we the do is best we, defense here? Yeah, the best defense we're going to do is we need to eliminate the queen ant. That's a common misconception. You take a thing of Windex, you spray them, you kill the line of ants. It feels really good, aesthetically pleasing. Sure. But the queen ant's still there repopulating. That's, that's the big thing here. So what we do is we come back to back these first two months, kind of a visual learner. So first month, I'm killing the mommies and the daddies. Okay. Second month, I kill the second generation before they repopulate on the home. Nice. And that's all the bugs. And that's that's what I do for everything. Sweep and clean the house, wasp nest, spider webs. I'm very big in the cosmetics of the home. Okay. But all these little suckers here, easy peasy to get rid of. When I'm using a Chrysanthemums product, I didn't even get your name, what was your name? Uh, Glenn. Glenn? Glenn. Glenn, okay, nice to meet you, Glenn. What, what happens here is you actually see more bugs with me. I don't use harsh chemicals that like kill them on contact. I'm actually gonna push them up and unfortunately push them away. So okay. I feel bad for who's behind this gate over here. <laughs> yeah, Do you know who I, it is? No, I don't know. There okay. are neighbors over there on the other side of that but, fence, but you know, yeah. Yeah, no, we're, we're all over here. Privacy. All down here, even the webs here too. I mean, have you seen these hobo spider webs? Oh no, not the hobo, hobo spider. Spi oh yeah. Well, tell us. The hobo maybe somebody doesn't. Oh, right? true. The hobo spider, it, it's it's basically like a brown recluse, which is a really really popular spider. You see how they're like, kind of all moving around here. Once yeah, I give you the bug, he's talking about some ants. Yeah. Yeah. And so what a hobo spider is is basically the northwest version of a brown recluse. And the way you can tell is they make a thick smoky blanket web that has a funnel. Mm. So they'll go up underneath the wall. Watch closely because I'm not going to do this a bunch. Sometimes they will come out. Just look at this. Dude. Glenn can vouch for me that I didn't have a bag of bugs in my pocket. No. Nope. That was all on the side of his house. Holy smokes. Hobo spider nest. And that's just a section right here. Crazy. I haven't even taken him down over there just yet. Pretty crazy. So I sweep and clean that down for you as well as treat there. Okay. See, right here. You see him now? Yeah. So, so my nice. concern is they're going to go from here to here and then they start to combine colonies. Once they get in the foundation, like underneath in the crawl space, they're it's all just, over, huh? Yeah. Will you check that as well? Will you check I the crawl space? can if you want. You it's told me to get out of crawl spaces. Well, I'll yeah, check it for you, dude. <laughs> but all over or here. Or find somebody that can. I will. I'll do it. But this okay. is like, yeah, so I come quarterly for you. Just 119 every three months. I sweep and clean it basically once a season for you. Okay. Kind of think of it as like fall, winter, spring, and summer. And it's taking care of all the bugs. You know, during the fall time, that's when you get the webs right. really, really badly. Yeah. Not in your beard, but on no, the No, not in the beard. Not in the beard. God. Not in the beard <laughs> whatsoever. No cobwebs. No cobwebs. <laughs> okay, me. so what else are we looking for? We're just, we're just browsing, making sure nothing's too crazy. Checking for wasp nests. All these bugs, they're, they're not problematic. The hobo spider is, but everything else is more structurally damaging to your home. I'm not crazy. They legitimately are. Spiders poop. It's the little white streaks and black streaks that you guys get on your homes and you deny it in yourself. You wake up, you're showering, you're like, that's not spider poop. That guy's crazy. The dude with the beard, I don't know what they're thinking. Right. It's spider poop, permanently stains the paint. Thatcher ants, carpenter ants, moisture ants, even the odors house ants, they get in the walls. It's bad. They start nesting in there. Really, really problematic. Hobo spiders can take an arm and a leg. Basically, the bite makes you look like a premature zombie. Dude. Wow. No joke. Crazy. Really, really bad. So all underneath there too. I mean, it kind of okay. looks like you're collecting them. I'll do this again. So see how clean it kind of looks, right? right? Oh, I'm Glenn. I just, I'm good. Just got a beard. I live the beard life. Beard, beard, beard. And then Chino comes by and look at this. That was all underneath his house. <laughs> Crazy. Look at that. There's a nest. Like they make, this was all Ooh. a funnel web. Yeah. That's freaking me out right there. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's That's living crazy. in your house. That is crazy. Another little fun fact for you guys and Glenn is that they, um, holy moly. What's, oh my gosh. Dude. Look at that. Okay. You're I don't even know me. if they're going to see that. I'm going to zoom in with a different camera maybe okay. later. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that's a big wasp. Yeah, nest. wasps are wood destroying organisms. So even though this is imitation wood or whatever Ooh, people wait. like to call it, they strip it away 
and that's well, how they make their homes. It's concrete. That's what it is, basically. It's Same hardy thing. Wood. I mean, even hardy from board. The trees and stuff. But you yeah. can see that from the yeah. That's easy, squeezy. Jeez, you can see that from the which is great. The outside. space needle. Yeah, that's huge. We're gonna zoom in on that a little bit later. And are you gonna come back and take care of that for us? I'm gonna probably take care of it today for Glenn. Dude, that's gonna be awesome. Vlog life. Right. I thought okay, he was gonna so cut out. We gonna... So that's... Oh, we just keep going. We'll, okay. we'll chop it up. Okay, later. all right. But cool. you're doing great, dude. <laughs> keep it up. I'm nervous. No, so, you're good. Here, here's a big thing right here, Glenn. You're gonna get so many people wanting you. You're gonna be the top salesman, dude. That would be sick. So right here, you see this okay. fine little dirt? Right. Oh. Okay. Ants are starting to push that up. So what ends uh -oh. up happening is you're getting pavement ants. Those are the tiny little black ones. Okay. So when they're underneath the house and then you have the thatcher ants, what ends up happening is they end up combining the queens. Okay. So the tiny odors house ant, sugar ants are the inappropriate, like the number Dude, one. There's one of them big red yeah. heads. Oh, look at it. They're Dude, gnarly. No, no. Oh, you're crazy. They're gnarly. You just don't want them on your home. So basically with my product, it's not organic, but it's chrysanthemum based. Are you familiar with the mums flower? I've seen them before. I'm not like a super flowery guy, but yeah, well, I don't mind a flower. It, I know it is, it is like. nerdy. It's, it's a natural repellent. So basically what it's doing for you, Glenn, is not only am I killing the bugs that remain on the home, but I'm actually pushing them away. So I'm keeping them off. Wasp nest, that's not active, but it still leaves setting pheromones that attract more wasps. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. Same with the ants. That's why we're starting to see more over here. Same with all the webs. They're just basically like, hey guys, come check out Glenn's house. Like, he doesn't charge us rent. More over here, more over here. So is this not your side or is this his? Well, side? like half of it, dude. Yeah. Okay, so may so, I step I, over? I, yeah, go ahead and step over. If they complain, we're just gonna tell them. Hey, go back inside. Yeah, we're, we're, we're vlogging. vlogging. Here. We're vlogging. We're vlogging here. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. All along there. Yeah, so we're gonna sweep and clean you that up. You got off. me convinced already. Right so there. look at this. <laughs> this is real life. Dude, bro. <laughs> Watch the beard. Here. This is real life. You see this? Yeah. This isn't a joke, people. This is on your home. <laughs> on your home. Nasty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Turn it off. This shit up here. I'm trying to make it reality TV. <laughs> right, I guess. I right. know. All that. Do your thing, man. It's all good. Yeah, so I, it's obvious you got tons of bugs. So what I'm doing here is basically preventing it. How long have you guys lived here for? Uh, a couple shit. of months. A couple of months? So this wasn't even your fault? No. Uh -uh. Wow, that's mean. All that right there. Look at that. That's insane, dude. And what ends up happening is hobo spiders live up to 48 years. Stop it. It's just facts. Just the uh, facts. <laughs> no so it could be way. even weird. Even around. So what I'm doing, I guess I'll walk you through the process. I service inside the home. It takes five to seven minutes. I'm just going to get the baseboards inside the garage. 10 to 12 minutes I sweep and clean everything in there right and then I'm um, gonna treat in there too I put glue boards by the motion sensors where the garage door goes up and that basically it smells like vanilla what it's doing is attracting the spiders there as opposed oh. to pushing them inside the house and having them run around so nice. it smells like vanilla you don't eat it you don't eat it get it on your shirt the wives are gonna come and kill me I've literally had that phone call where the husband had a hole in his shirt because he thought it was funny and it's really awkward <laughs> outside the house it takes 30 to 40 minutes Altogether, you're looking at about an hour to service the whole home sweeping and cleaning everything as well as treating the full length of the eaves for you guys all around the windows all around over there too all together it's like an hour in and out of your hair like your favorite shampoo and then we come back quarterly for you guys just maintenance on the home and that's what you do what and that is what i do that is what wow, i do is this no, your own business it is not i'm the manager we're into compton aka tacoma we out here <laughs> killing bugs. We the little guy compared okay. to Terminex and Orkin. So I, I have to be a little crazier than everybody else in order right. to, no, to but win it people works. over. It works. It's yeah. Chill. <laughs> okay. Shout out to the beard. Oh, low key, bro. Chilo. Chilo lao. Chilo lao. Chilo lao lao. We just you rapped for a Sorry. minute and Chilo it's is cool. really cool. I was just yeah. dropping bars. We out here spitting bars. Whatever here. That's what we do. Okay. <laughs> So, so anyway. I was talking about those white streaks. You crazy people think I'm not serious about. This is all Oops, spider poop right there. Look at that. We can go up over here too. Oh, look all at that. that. Amazing. Looks like mini pigeon poop. And you, you, uh, you clean that up as well, correct? Yes. I all, just, and then right here. Right. Ooh, that's a carcass. That is a hobo spider. Stop that. Oh, right here. Oh. They shed their skin kind of like a snake. No way. Yeah, so they get progressively bigger. Nice. Hey, we got hobo spiders. For nice. days. I don't want one of those in my beard, in my butcher's <laughs> beard. Stop it. Even inside here in the oh, garage. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh. 
I think somebody's gonna be, yeah. All this webbing in here, all these dead bugs. Ugh. They'll get inside behind that drywall there. All of that, it's crazy. That's too much all over there. Okay, folks, so uh, here's what's gonna happen. We are going to, uh, we're gonna have Chilo here back, one way or another, guarantee it. And um, we're gonna have updates and what he's gonna be <laughs> looking at. Anyway. That's what's it up. was nice okay. to meet you guys. All right, peace. Take it easy. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that like button. And uh, if you really like it, share it on your Facebook or YouTube or whatever. All right, we'll see you. Peace.